Hello guys, welcome to our video tutorials. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to make the fire bolt from Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. You spot this uh, broomstick uh, while uh, in the end of the Sorcerer's Stone's movie and even in the Prisoner of Azkaban, okay? So for making this, you will need a square sheet of paper, okay? So let's get started. First of all, you need to fold this paper into a half, okay? My paper size is 20 by 20 centimeter, okay? Open it, okay? We are going to do the same uh, that uh, origami base that we usually do in my videos, okay? Crease it properly. Open it. Now we do the same on the other side, okay? The folds should be proper. You can use any paper you want. I recommend a tissue foil paper, okay? Like that, you get a cross. Now you fold it down. If you want, you can use a smaller square sheet paper, okay? To make a smaller broom, Quidditch broom, okay? Open it. Now we fold it like this. Okay, the folds should be proper, crease it just like that, okay, now take it like this, you see this uh, X here, okay, we are going to fold this flap till the middle, okay, just like that. Crease it. Now we are going to do the same on this side, okay? Fold it. Now crease it, okay? Just like that. Now to make sure that you are folded proper or not, you may see that these lines, they should align with each other if you fold it into half. Like that, okay? Now next step, you have folded these here, you are just going to turn it and this flap, you are going to fold it to the middle line, okay? Like that, to the middle line, okay? Crease it slowly, just like that. Crease it, other side also, fold it till the middle line, okay? One more tip by the way, if you want to know it's proper, if you fold this into half, they both should uh, align with each other, these two parts, okay? Yeah, now you fold this to the middle point, this flap here, okay, just like that. This one also we are going to do the same. Just like that. Now next step is you have to fold this till the top into a half, okay? There was already a crease. Now we fold it down, okay? We are going to fold this up.
take it down. Now we fold this point till the middle. Okay? Just like that. Okay, crease it. Now we are going to take this down, okay? Like that. We are going to take this part up till that point there. Okay? So we have made three creases, one, two, three. Okay, so the one which now you see this line here. Okay, we are going to fold this line till this line. Okay, so you fold it into half first and then align it with the bottom line. Okay, slowly, just like that. Now you take it down, you're gonna see a smaller diamond. Okay. Which, is, uh, which also looks as a square if you turn it. Okay. So now next step. You see this part. This part. We are going to fold it. To this point here. Okay. Like that. Now we are going to take this flap to the middle line. Okay. Just like that. Do the fold properly. Okay. Crease it. Now we are going to perform the same action on the other side. Okay. This side. Take your finger. Put it till here there. And now make a fold like that okay press it crease it okay just like that now you fold it into half so that you can see if uh, it's proper or not in my case it's proper okay now next step open one flap up okay now we need to bring this more forward okay you can just disturb this part too so that it gets more near to this uh, flap we made okay farther than the uh, middle crease okay so it comes to till here okay so we have to adjust this part also and we need to bring it more further also. Okay. And it should be straight. In my case it came till here. What about yours? You can check that out. Okay. Crease it. We are going to do the same on the other side. Okay, just crease it, fold it, now press it, okay, just like that. Now next step, so now you see this line here, okay, we are going to fold it up, just like that. Now we are going to take this line down okay so now we fold this part here down okay just crease this part there like that now we are going to fold these lines till the middle okay like that just hold this part there so that it go uh, doesn't go too forward like that okay 
this uh, this part comes front so we just fold it there and then do the fold just like that now we do the same on this side okay fold it till the middle crease just hold that part fold it just like that okay it was like this we just folded it into half okay so now as you can see there are two thick creases so we just fold this till the first crease like that okay you got me right just fold it give it a nice shape like that we do the same just like that we got our broom now you need to fold it into a half like that okay so as in the uh, video title i said that i'm going to make that uh, harry potter's racing broomstick fire bolt so there are two types and uh, in the same broom okay one is the fire bolt and the other one also i'm going to show you so the uh, the first i'm going to show you the other one okay fold these flaps inside okay now you just give this broom shape okay i'm just telling you about the other one now for uh, fold this part making it a broom okay that's going to be the normal usual one which harry potter uses in the philosopher's stone okay so now i'm going to show you the second one which is uh, the racing bowl uh, racing broom quidditch, uh, quidditch broom which is a uh, firebolt okay so you need to open this flap take this part out okay just um take it normally just fold it out here like that now you bring this back up so that this flap is outside for us okay just fold it like that okay the other side also we are going to do the same i'm going to show you again open this flap slowly take this out and now bring it back giving it a nice and proper fold okay now you fold these back inside taking this part leaving it outside like that okay do the same there like that now you see this part here we are just going to fold it like that okay now we fold this and this one too okay so now we are going to do some proper folds so that these uh, be the place where they keep their legs in the quidditch green game okay so we just fold it more a bit closer okay now we fold it into half okay take this part down okay the other one remains up okay so now open this flap slowly not just tearing it okay slowly okay like that just open it okay see like that now you fold it into a half 
section there. Now you fold it into another half, making it something like this. Okay. Now you need to pull it as far as it can go till this uh, back of the broom. Okay. Slowly pull it, not just steering it. Okay, you just fold this part inside and just pull it as far as it can go. Okay, just pull it slowly. Okay, now just uh, crease it. Okay, like that. Now we do the same fold this side. Okay, open this flap here slowly, like that. Now we do that uh, rabbit fold, half fold there, okay, and half fold there, and then just bring those both together, like that. Now we pull it as far back as it can go you can take the help of this part so it may, will make easier for you just take the help of the other one okay now fold it back so that it gets normal shape okay so now we are going to fold this whole thing into a half okay half here okay like that and the other side also it's a bit fat okay like that the other side also just take these okay okay see like that we are going to fold these also into half it's a bit hard okay for if you use a normal paper fold this extra part inside okay and now fold it okay just like that now we are going to fold the front part till there okay just like that don't uh, open that fold just got opened okay just do a fold like this okay now just shape it this part there okay we had a fold till there this keeps opening all right so we are going to shape this part okay we are just going to use our one finger so that it gives us a nice shape of um, you know that the place where they sit okay like that just open these these uh, flaps uh, we just made we are going to fold them into half this part also okay we are just shaping right so we just shape it now we bring them forward okay just like that if you fold them uh, into a half like this then it would be easier for you 
let me show you like that see just a second if you just turn it like that this part okay like this it would be easy for you to you know just crumble that part take it up use your finger and just fold it like that okay that shape this part is uh, ridiculous that shape okay so now like that we are going to make the fold till that okay we are going to take these behind okay we are going to shape them these also fold them just fold this flap inside okay we are going to fold them like that and uh, one more thing here by the way just pull these inside okay this um, now fold them back okay giving them the shape so now it's time for the uh, head or this uh, broom okay just open these okay we are going to make a zigzag okay just like that we do the same on the other side zigzag okay press it now open it just give it a shape like it's a broom okay like that now we fold this whole thing okay like that now we bring these okay they are just back leave them there we are just going to slowly push it okay like that now we shape the broom just put one of your finger inside okay just like that crumble it like you crumble a paper now open it and now again do the same open it so that it gives a nice realistic uh, look of a broom okay so this part here we are just going to keep them a little high this also so that it would look like um, the place where they keep their legs okay this part again okay this part just fold them behind okay we fold these forward like that so mine is an or uh, a little thick paper okay so that's why it uh, didn't get the exact shape but if you are using a tissue foil paper kind of paper okay so, uh, then it would look like amazing so this part it's uh, it's not getting its shape actually yep now we fold this part like that okay so we take this and now we got the shape so this is the fire bolt from the harry potter and the uh, sorcerer's stone at the ending he gets it 
So thanks for watching. If you like this video, please give a like, subscribe and share.